I understand the economic difficulties we face as a nation right now. Our economy has been in desperate need of reform for decades. It has been unbalanced because it was built on the flawed foundations and over reliance on revenue from exploitation of oil. The reforms we have initiated are intended to create a stronger, better foundation for future growth. There is no doubt that the reform has occasioned hardship. I feel your pains. Yet, the unnecessary repairs required to fix the economy over the long run so that everyone has access to economic opportunity, fair pay, and compensation for its endeavor and labor. As we continue to reform the economy, I shall always listen to the people and will never turn my back on you. In this spirit, we have negotiated in good faith and with open arms, we've organized labor on a new national minimum wage. We shall soon send our executive bill to the National Assembly to enshrine what has been agreed upon as part of our law for the next five years or less. In the face of labor's call for national strike, we did not seek to oppress or crack down on the workers as a dictatorial government of the past would have done. We chose the path of cooperation over conflict. Nobody was arrested or threatened. Instead, the labor leadership was invited to break bread and negotiate towards good faith resolution. A reasoned discussion and principled compromise are a hallmark of democracy. These themselves shall continue to animate my policies and interaction with the constituent part of our political economy. I take on this vital task without fear or fearful. And I commit myself to this work until we are built in a year where no man is oppressed. In the end, our national greatness will not be achieved by traversing or traveling the easy way. It can only be achieved by taking the right one. The words of American President Franklin Roosevelt sadly ring true, and I quote, there are many ways of going forward, but only one way of standing still, and unquote. We dare not slumber, lest the good things awaiting our immediate future pass us by. We dare not plant our feet in the idle standstill in the middle of the intersection of hope and despair. We know the proper way forward, and we shall take it. The initial rays of a brighter tomorrow now appears on the horizon. An abundant future and our capacity to achieve that future lies within our reach. Democracy and the institution it begats over to take us to our profound destination. Let us board this progressive train together. And together, let us move Nigeria forward. Let's continue to keep the fire of democracy burning. Let's keep the torch lit for generations to come.